So, do you need to know how to code for a business technology management program? Short answer, no. If you want to know why, stick around. Hello everyone, I'm Raya. For those new to this channel, I'm a second year student at Ryerson's business technology management program and I make videos on my student journey. So if I had to give a brief one-liner on what BTM the program is about, it's basically like if you had it on a spectrum with let's say this side being business management only and this side being computer science, it, BTM would be right in the middle. So it wouldn't be too technical, which is what would be the case on the computer science end, but it also would have elements from the general business program and you kind of mash that all together and you have BTM. With that said though, you don't need to know coding to get into the program, but we do have two courses related to coding. And for today, I'm just gonna go through the course calendar, which you can find online for BTM. Feel free to click the link below on in the comment section so you can follow along with me. So the first course that's kind of related to coding is ITM 207. So in this course, you don't actually use the typical coding softwares like Python. We use something called Raptor and it kind of teaches you the logic and general concepts because it really is just a basic introduction to coding. And then the second course that's, this is the one that's more advanced in coding, is ITM 200, Fundamentals of Programming. So this is, I actually have my exam next week, so wish me luck on that. And so for this course, it's pretty basic Python, but it's a little bit more intermediate or advanced in terms of what you would typically learn in, in high school. With that said though, you don't need uh, prior experience in, in coding to be able to ace these courses. I did just fine. And yes, I did take coding uh, courses in high school, but they weren't really too advanced, uh, not to this level. So if I can do it, you can do it. That's what I like to say. And kind of looking forward to the 5th, 6th, 7th, and 8th semester, I don't think there's going to be much more coding after the one you take in your 3rd semester, which is the semester I'm in right now. So if you're a student or you're, you're in high school right now and you're worried that you don't have coding experience and you want to get into this program, don't worry. You'll you'll be completely fine because as long as you, for virus and in, anyway, as long as you take your time with these to coding related courses, you will be fine. With that said though, I do want to walk you guys through step by step, semester by semester to give you an idea of what it's like um, in, to be in the BTM program. So for the first semester, we have CMN 279, GMS 200, ITM 100, ITM 107, and SSH 105. So for CMN 279, it's a pretty easy course, I would say. It covers like the basics of communication. So whether that be sending emails, like what do you put in the subject line, what do you put in the body, and kind of just general practices on, on communicating in general should be pretty easy as long as you pay attention in class. And then GMS 200, uh, Introduction to Global Management. It's very similar if you took international business or really any business uh, course in high school. So it's very uh, foundational in that sense and didn't really give me too much trouble. And then ITM 100, Foundations of Information Systems. That course covers the foundations of information systems, so networking, all the terms, and it kind of gives you a lay of the land of what the other courses you will be taking in the program and how those pieces, puzzle pieces, fit into the bigger picture of, of BTM. We also did a lot of work in Excel for our labs in this course. And then ITM 107, Managerial Decision making it's as long as you did well or you kind of know what you were doing in advanced functions in high school you should be fine and then ssh 105 critical thinking um it was an interesting course i did i enjoyed it but it's definitely a thinking heavy course so be prepared to put in the work for that course and then second semester first one up we have econ 104 that course kind of covers supply and demand uh, price elasticity so there's a little bit of math but it's i would say it's like math combined with theory and then next we have itm 207 that's the course I talked about where you use a uh, Raptor, this, this software that helps you understand kind of the concepts and logic uh, behind coding. And the next one you have MHR 405, organizational behavior. Uh, this one is, I think, more on the soft skill side of things where you learn things like uh, leadership styles, conflict management. So I would say more on the HR side of things. And then next up we have QMS 210. Oh boy, this course. <laughs> so this course is statistics. A lot of people in my class uh, struggled with it. I would say I struggled with it. So if you had to focus on any course, it would be uh, QMS 210. Now, obviously, if you're good at math and statistics, that's you know good for you. Don't this course will be fine. But if anything, it's just a more advanced uh, data management course, uh, something you would take in grade 12. So it has concepts like uh, distribution, uh, confidence intervals, hypothesis testing, linear 
multiple regression, whatever. And yeah, you would need a graphing calculator for this course, which is a side note. And then in third semester, which is the semester I'm taking right now. So first one, you have accounting 100. That's your basic accounting. Now you have things like your balance sheets and your income statements. So if you took accounting in high school, you should be fine with this course. And then next one, you have ITM 200, fundamentals of programming. That's uh, basically what we talked about earlier with Python. And it's not too difficult for Python because it's uh, very still very beginner friendly. And then next one is ITM 301. And I would say this course is more um, application focused. So we did a lot of work on uh, the Windows command prompt and our final group project also involved doing a network diagram. So the prof giving us a scenario like this business and they have let's say four floors and they have how many laptops, how many uh, printers, how many routers on each floor and then how would you connect that on a diagram based on what you learned in class. And then the next one is Marketing 100. Um, so yeah, this is pretty basic as well. Principles of marketing, you learn a lot of terms. So I would say some of the concepts were taught in high school business. So if you took that, I think you would have a head start on this course. In the fourth to the eighth semester, I haven't really taken them, so I can't really speak to them yet. But you know, you can make your own hypothesis on what, what these courses are like based on the descriptions on the website. But it seems to me that uh, these courses are kind of just expansions on what you learned in the first three semesters or so. And I don't think they're going to be that different from the first three semesters. And with that said, I wanted to reiterate that BTM is uh, more focused on how to manage the tech, how to manage the software, hardware, network, infrastructure, rather than coding itself. So if you're worried about the coding part, don't worry, you'll be fine. And of course, it would be nice if you took uh, coding courses in high school. It would definitely give you a leg up on some of these courses, but the course does teach uh, coding from scratch, so uh, no prior knowledge is necessary. And yeah, if you're a high school student and you're looking to apply to BTM courses, whether it be Ryerson or I think Waterloo has in Laurier, I hope this, uh, this video helped you. And currently, I'm on the job hunt for my summer internship uh, because of a coming co-op term this summer. So stay tuned if you want to see how my, my summer internship job hunting goes. Right now, I'm applying to a lot of product design and UX design roles. I actually just finished my first uh, UX design portfolio piece. Um, it's on my LinkedIn. I have not made a video on that, so make sure to subscribe because I will be doing a video on that in the near future. And yeah, if you like this video, make sure to click the like button and or subscribe. And I'm Raya. I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Sound check, sound check. Get that hair out of my...